Hi all folks, this is Max from Root, AmazonKindle.com. That's my new site for Amazon Kindle rooting and ROMs and whatnot. Um, anyway, I've got the world's uh, world's most affordable tablet. Um, this is probably, you know, the most affordable tablet for $199. Um, you can have a tablet, Android tablet experience that you've never had before. Um, so I highly recommend you get one. It's great for kids, um, for watching movies and stuff. But uh, I have a, a virgin device here. Um, <clears throat> first thing I want to do is pop the cherry. So let's go root it. Um, so we're going to plug in the USB cable. Alright. And then um, just say disconnect. It connect it to your computer. I mean. Um, and then go to more. And go to device. And uh, allow install of applications on those sources. Make sure it's on like that. All right? Let me adjust the camera here. Right? And once you've done that, we're gonna go to our computer. Um, this method is for Windows only. I'll have Linux and Mac instructions coming real soon. Um, so let's go to our computer. Next, what you'll do is download Kindle Fire root .zip. Um, It should have all the files you need, including drivers for Windows. Um, unzip it to your C directory, root directory of your C drive. As you can see, that's my C drive, C drive, and you can see Kindle Fire root is there. Uh, move it there, and then let's open up a command prompt. Um, go to start search, type CMD. If you don't know how, go Google it. It's you know it's very easy to open up a command prompt on Windows. Um, and then you're gonna type CD backslash. This is backslash. Sorry, I, every time I do this video, I have Korean uh, version of Korean font install, that's why it's actually a backslash this way. Um, CD backslash Kindle Fire root, like that, right? And then you're gonna type ADB, oh no, sorry. Um, you're gonna you're gonna try to go to CD files, like that. And then type ADB devices, all right? And this will start up your ADB, and it will start looking for your Kindle, but it's not there because you have to install the drivers. So let's go install the drivers. Go to control panel. All right. And then um, hardware and sound. Go to device manager. And you should have Kindle there, right? So double click on it and say update driver. Browse my computer. Let me pick from a list of device drivers and just pick show all devices next and say have disk and browse to the folder where you unzip the files uh, which is for me is C under Kindle Fire root and inside you should have the uh, USB driver um, and click on USB underscore you have to use this one I've modified it to make it so you can use it with Kindle open open and select it Android ADB interface next say yes and you'll get this warning screen. Install this driver anyways. And this will install the drivers. And uh, there's one more step you have to do. So it's installing drivers. Should be done in another five seconds. Um, maybe a little bit longer. So there you go, Android ADB interface. Um, close OK, that's fine. It's been installed. Um, you can see Android ADB interface. Doesn't matter. My mine says Samsung because I was installing Samsung, but it might be under just regular Android. So so long as you get the uh, Android ADB interface, you're fine. You're good to go. All right, and close that up, and go back to your command prompt and try ADB devices. You won't get anything, right? That sucks. Don't worry. There's actually one more step. Go back to the Kindle Fire root directory. Go in there and go to USB driver and you'll find this file called adb underscore usb dot ini. Alright, um, you have to copy this folder into uh, your user preferences. Um, so go back to, um, close this, go back to hardware and sound. Oh sorry, go back to control panel, open up control panel. And if you go to um, appearance and personalization. Click there, and uh, if you go from here, 
Um, show hidden files and folders. You'll need to enable this to copy this file over, that's why. If you haven't done it already, then you're fine. But hit that, show hidden files and folders. And make sure um, show hidden files, folders, and drives is checked on. Okay. All right, you're good to go. Now go back to the, uh, the folder and do a right click on adv underscore USB dot ini, right, right click and do copy. All right, and then go to your C drive and then go to the user directory. Users right there. And then uh, click on your username that you use to sign into your Windows. Um, for me, it's Max. Um, you might have multiple, just make sure it's the one you're using right now. So go to Max, or whatever your name is, and you should have a, you should be able to see a folder called .android, right? Go in there, and do a right click, and paste. Alright, and then let's open up uh, the command prompt again. Do adb devices. Um, try adb kill server. Whoops, sorry. Should be like that, I think. Ah, hold on. Okay, it's adb kill dash server. Okay, and then do adb devices. And now you should get something on there. Um, you should get a bunch of numbers. So that's the serial number, which means now your driver's installed, um, your computer recognizes that uh, your Kindle has been recognized. So all we have to do is go to cd dot dot like that, and then type run me, whoops, dot bat. So I'm going to type run me that BAT, alright, and then it should start rooting. Um, it should say, basically I modified the one for Droid uh, Razor for this one, Kindle Fire. Hit enter, and then it will do its thing and your phone, or not phone, your Kindle Fire will be rooted with super user. Um, you will actually not see the super user app on the Kindle Fire, but it's there. All you have to do is fire up a, um, like a super user app, then you will see it. So it's been rooted. It's been rooted. Once you get that, um, all that with no error, um, it should start rebooting. There you go. Just reboot it. And uh, when you when you reboot it, you should be all rooted, all rooted, and ready to go. So you can actually unplug the device. It's pretty much done. You can just close that. Um, so I'll show you when it reboots real quick. So it says all done rebooting Kindle Fire. Press any key to uh, You're done. Um, so that's how you root your Kindle Fire and I'll be back to show you that it's been rooted. So I'm gonna go like this and uh, you can install, um, I've installed set CPU, you can download it, um, you can you can do uh, ADB in the same Kindle, well, you can use ADB, it's in the, oh, you know what, let me show you, bah. Um you can, I'll have another video on how to install apps using ADB. Um, so, let me open up uh, set CPU to show you that I have root user, oh, oh let's just go to apps here. So you won't see the super user app, but it's there. If you run that, so it says set CPU has granted um, the uh, super user permission. So let me show it to you again after resetting the permission so you can see it. Oh, here's how you can check it. Um, it won't show up in your drawer, but you can go to uh, right, click up there, more, go to applications, and look at all applications. And if you go down to um, super user, there you go. So you have super user um, right, right there. So um, you can run, you can run rooted apps to install. Um, I would probably try to get a file explorer, um, but I'll have another video on how to install aftermarket apps, and uh, hopefully I can install the regular Google Market too. And I'm gonna go play with my new newly rooted Kindle. Um, I'll have instructions on for Linux and Mac. It should be coming shortly today. Um, and check out rootkindlefire.com and subscribe to the email list if you want to stay updated on this device. Um, all the cool ROMs and stuff that's going to come out. 
and uh, you should be able to install a bunch of more apps now. So, see y'all later. Thanks.